In this tutorial, we will discuss how to connect a PC to an ENET router over a building's network. In order for the CE Electronics ENET router to be accessible, it needs to be on the same network and subnet as the PC that you are installing the management software. Please confirm with your IT department that the PC and the ENET router are both on the same network and subnet. If the IT department requires that the ENET router be configured differently to connect to the network, then contact CE Electronics customer support at tech at ceelectronics.com for more information. Now that you are sure that the PC and the ENET router are both on the same network and subnet, you will need to download the following pieces of software. This is the CE Electronics Elite PI Transfer Control Center. This software is used to directly communicate with the Elite PI elevator screens from your PC. You will use this software to send design and graphic updates, keep the time and dates in sync on all screens, transfer Elite Plus subscription data, and other troubleshooting tasks. The last piece of software that you'll need is the Microtech Winbox software. This is used to configure the ENET router. We will mostly be using it to see the IP address of the ENET router. You can also use this software to configure the ENET to a static IP address. The ENET is set to DHCP, but it can be changed to a static IP address if your network does not permit DHCP. Also note that if DHCP is used, then your IT department will need to set their DHCP server to always give out the same IP address to the ENET. Now that both softwares have been installed, let's first get the IP address of the ENET router. With the Winbox program open, click on the Neighbors tab. This will show you all of the ENET routers that are accessible over the network that you are connected to. Here you will see the IP addresses of the ENET or ENETs. If you do not see any IP addresses, then either the ENET router is not connected to the correct network, your PC is not on the same network as the ENET, the ENET is being blocked by a subnet router, or the ENET router is not powered on. To try to fix these issues, first make sure that the ENET router is powered on and running and connected to the building's network in the first Ethernet connection. Then, check with your IT department to make sure that the management PC and the ENET router are both on the same network. If you see an IP address that is all zeros, then odds are your IT department has disabled DHCP on your network and the ENET will need to be configured to a static IP. If you have went through all of these steps and are still unable to connect to your ENET in the Winbox software, then please contact CE Electronics Support at tech at ceelectronics.com. Now let's open the Transfer Control Center. Click on the button that looks like three Polaroids labeled Edit Displays. Click on the Ethernet tab. Click Edit Networks. Click Add. In this window, we are going to enter the information for the ENET router. Under Name, you can rename the ENET that you are setting up. It is recommended that you use the name based on the ENET's location. Here we are going to add the IP address for the ENET router. Now you can either click Save, or if you have another ENET to add, Click the Add button again and repeat the previous steps. Again, when you are done adding the ENET IP address information, click Save. Please note that if you ever receive an SSH Network Update Failed Error, click OK. Then you may want to restart the transfer program, otherwise some things may not save correctly. 
Now the ENET has been added to the transfer program, we will need to add the individual screens. Click on the Rediscover button. Check the ENET or ENETs that you are trying to connect to and click OK. If everything is working properly, you will see your screens appear. If your screens do not appear, then there is more than likely an issue with the physical wiring between the screens and the ENET, and you will want to contact CE Electronics Technical Support for assistance. If, however, all of your screens did appear, then from here you can rename your elevators. You can see by this number in the IP address which channel the screen is connected to. Channel 1, Channel 2, Channel 3, and so on. But keep in mind that the elevator company may not have wired the elevators and the ENET in sequential order. When you are all done editing the settings for your screens, click Save. Now the transfer program is ready to begin communicating with your CE Electronics Elite PI screens. If you have any issues at all, please contact CE Customer Support at tech at ceelectronics.com.